Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has confirmed that an armed resistance to the Taliban, which includes SAS trained forces, in Afghanistan is forming in the Panjshir Valley. Speaking today, the Russian official also confirmed that the resistance force was being led by deposed Vice President Amrul Asili and Ahmad Massoud, the son of a slain anti-Taliban fighter. Reports claim that among the fighters headed to the region are members of the SAS-trained Afghan Special Forces, believed to be the best of the best that the Afghan military has to offer. There are reports of the situation in the Panjshir Valley where the resistance of Afghanistan's Vice President Mr. Saleh and Ahmad Massoud is concentrated, he said. Lavrov also reiterated his call for an inclusive dialogue involving all political players in Afghanistan for the formation of a representative government. The Panjshir Valley northeast of Kabul is Afghanistan's last remaining holdout, known for its natural mountainous defenses. According to images shared on social media, Saleh and Massoud, the son of slain Northern Alliance leader Ahmed Shah Massoud, are pulling together a guerrilla movement to take on the Taliban. Ahmad Massoud, the son of Afghanistan's most famed anti-Taliban fighter, on Thursday said he was ready to follow in his father's footsteps, as he rallied his forces in the Panjshir Valley northeast of Kabul, the country's last holdout. Massoud is the son of Ahmed Shah Massoud, the famed anti-Soviet and anti-Taliban resistance leader assassinated in 2001, two days before the September 11 attacks on the U.S. Also reportedly headed for the Panjshir Valley to join up with the resistance are a group of Afghan Special Forces soldiers. The troops, who are believed to have been trained by the SAS, are thought to be the best fighters available in the country and had been trying to hold the line against the Taliban, The Sun reports. The commandos and special forces soldiers, who are now being hunted by the Taliban, are believed to be making their way to the Panjshir region to join up with the resistance group forming there. A source told The Sun Online that thousands of fighters are headed to the region, which boasts strong natural defenses, as well as groups of local people who want to join the fight. The source said, it is not ordinary resistance. It is the resistance of thousands of trained forces who are familiar with every inch of the soil and who has excellent experience in fighting the terrorists for the past 20 years. I am not going to die before destroying Taliban. We will fight till the last bullet. Moscow has been cautiously optimistic about the new leadership in Kabul and is seeking contact with the militants in an effort to avoid instability spilling over to neighboring ex-Soviet states. While the United States and other countries rush to evacuate their citizens from Kabul, Russia said its embassy will continue to function.
She said at her weekly press briefing that the militant group, known for its severe treatment of women, is ready to take into account the interest of citizens, including women's rights. Earlier this week, Russia's ambassador to Afghanistan Dmitry Thurnov met with the Taliban in Kabul, hailing on state television a positive and constructive meeting. The Kremlin has in recent years reached out to the Taliban, which is banned as an extremist group in Russia, and hosted its representatives in Moscow several times, most recently last month.